What's going on today, everybody? It's Monday. This is Punisher Prime 81 here, and welcome if you're new. Thanks for watching. And if you want to watch more, go ahead and just subscribe so you can get notifications for when I do have more videos. But today I got a special video, something I'm really excited about, something I've wanted to do for a long time, and I finally got it done. And luckily I did it when I did, because the deadline hit to where PSA just stopped taking any more submissions for right now unless it's like super express where it's super expensive to do a card uh, because they're trying to catch up they're so backed up right now it's not even funny for them um, but they have basically shut down the regular shipping for express and general grading or whatever it is um, until I believe July 1st I was lucky and submitted five of my rarest cards that, to me, were special to me. And obviously, I, I really couldn't afford to do any more just because of how much they've gone up. But I did it before the price jump. Like, I submitted mine in February. Anyways, I got lucky. I got mine back. I got some cool grades. I want to show you some cool cards. But first, we're going to show you some cards I've gotten recently by mail. Some graded cards and uh, some other cards as well. We're gonna start out with a couple Kobe Bryants. I picked this awesome Kobe up, pretty cheap from my uh, card, shop guy, card shop guy, Jerry. He's been a good friend of mine since I was younger and uh, couldn't say how much more I appreciate him. He's a really good guy. Um, he hooked me up, got me a cool Topps Kobe Bryant, 50th anniversary. Pretty nice looking card here. Then I've got a nice Bowman, Kobe mid-flight. Looks like he's gonna put a move on Kevin Garnett there. Old school. Look at that determined face too, I love that. Pretty cool old school Kobe Bryant. Now I'm moving to a guy I'm PCing. So any of you watching, keep an eye out. I love Zion Williamson. Um, this is a Zion Williamson Revolution rookie card. Really nice looking rookie and this kid's just phenomenal. Not only do I admire this kid's hard work, I admire his uh, humbleness. Just a good kid. He's 20 years old. He goes out there and works hard and he's he's a good person to everybody. Like, he's respectable. He doesn't get all crappy with the refs. He hands the ball to the refs and moves on. Here's an awesome Beckett 9.5 Jim Mint NBA Hoops rookie card. Anything I've seen cheap when I can afford to, if I had extra to be able to get something at the time, if I could afford to, I'll try to. Sometimes I've just got to let them go because I can't afford to do it. The hobby's just exploded. Here's another, I can't even talk today, another revolution. Zion rookie card. It's a Jim Mint 10 by GMA and it's a New Year's edition. You can see the see the difference with the red and everything in this card. Pretty look, pretty cool looking card. Here's a card I really like um, and I have become a fan of this grading company just because I think it's classy and uh, it looks really good and they do a good job on grading in my opinion. Uh, this is an SGC Chronicles Zion Williamson rookie card luminance and it's the pink version. You can see that pink. This is a sweet looking card. Jim Mint 10. I love this black background. It really makes the card pop in my opinion. Um, very nice looking grading, grading card and uh, company. High quality to me. I like it. Now this is a card I showed you a while back. Um, I picked it up. And there's a reason why I'm showing you this again. This is a Kyler Murray Panini Obsidian Electric Etch Orange Rookie Autograph. Now these are out of 50. This has a Gem Mint 10. This is number two out of 50. This is a sweet card. All right, now on to the big, the big, you know, reveal here. I'm, I'm excited. Hossa cards, if you're watching, I'm sure you're excited. Far North Hobby, uh, I've been talking about this for a while. I finally got my five cards graded back. Let's check these bad boys out. 
We're gonna start with my first one here. As you guys saw, I pulled this monster on my channel. I was super nervous about opening Prism Basketball for 2019. I made payments on that box just because I couldn't afford to buy it like everybody else. My card shop guy was awesome to me and allowed me to do so. He doesn't just let anybody do that, but I've known him forever. I picked a box. I got nervous as crap to even open it on my channel. I said, what the heck? I didn't even think about it. I opened it. First pack, I pulled Kobe's Prism. I was excited about that. And then all of a sudden, I'm going through the cards and I pulled this bad boy. I sent it in and checked this. Boom. I was freaking going crazy when I saw I got a Jim Mint 10 on this rookie autograph of Zion Williamson. This is a monster card, and in time, if he keeps doing good and gets to the finals eventually, this thing's gonna explode. Can't be more happy about this card. And since I showed you the Kyler Murray of number two, I had all this time Kyler Murray number one. And I was excited to see this bad boy come back. Got a Jim Mint 10 on this. Two major rookie cards. One out of 50. So that's very collectible just because of that. Something I, I'm not too upset about because I felt, felt like it would grade an 8. And I'm totally okay with it. This card is still rare. This is my Patrick Mahomes. It's a 2018 Select Die Cut Purple Prism. I love this card. But what's awesome about this card, even though it got an 8, to me it's still great. Number 15, baby. So that's rare as it is. That's awesome. I'm pumped about this. You guys might be laughing at me on the other end, but I'm over here like a little kid and I'm super excited. Now, I'm really happy to have this card. Uh, it means a lot to me to have this card. Uh, the last two cards that I'm showing you mean a lot to me. Um, one, because unfortunately Kobe Bryant's no longer with us and uh, it's a terrible tragedy what happened. I love going back and watching Kobe and Michael Jordan's highlights. I just, they're very exciting to me. Um, always got excited to watch these two. Just Michael was my guy and then Kobe was the closest thing next to him. Um, but this is something really awesome. Um, I'm pretty happy about this. This is a Kobe Bryant Mint 9 96 Finest Gold Airs. Beautiful card. One of Kobe's finer rookie cards. I love this card. He's only 17 years old in that picture. And last but not least, this card is super special to me. I pulled this back in 06 from my friend Jerry's card shop. This was a long time ago now. I was in the hunt for Michael Jordan and I didn't think I'd ever pull him. And I got to the second to the last pack and I about crapped when I saw Chicago Bulls. And it said autographics. I saw congratulations. I started freaking out once I saw Michael Jordan's name. One of the hardest cards to grade. I got an eight and I am happy with this. The reason why I say that, this is the only one in population that's an eight. I have a friend that has one out of the two only Jim Mint 10 PSAs out there in the world. This card is a short print that I believe there's only 23 made of these. The reason why I say that is, you notice this card's a FLIR. Well, in 2006 was the 20th anniversary of the 1986 FLIR rookie card that everybody has sought after of Michael Jordan. Everybody knows that Michael Jordan is only endorsed by Upper Deck to sign. Now you're seeing a signature on a FLIR card. The reason why it is is because Upper Deck bought out the rights to FLIR and they did a special thing where they signed certain cards and um, these were some of them that were signed. This is the 86 version. There's other ones where he's in like his 98 Bulls picture or whatever. Uh, stuff like that. But I'm super happy to get this card back. It's one of my specials. Very hard to grade. And uh, just a beautiful card. And 
These are why it's so hard to get a perfect 10 is because just barely, if you can see it, just barely a little whitening on, on the edge there. Corners are sharp though, and it's a beautiful card. I couldn't be much, you know, much more happier with this. Like these cards are amazing to me. Um, you know, like the only way that I'll end up selling these cards is if something happened to where I saw somebody else selling one of them and it caught a lot of money to basically pay off my house and my debt. But uh, unless that happens, I'm more than likely to just hang on to these. It's been fun to be able to finally grade these and get them back. I got lucky, I submitted these, what was it, the beginning of February? And I got notified last week that my cards were finally graded and done and being shipped and they arrived today. And uh, I got lucky because everybody else is waiting forever and now everything's cut off for people to do it for a while unless you're spending big bucks to just get one card graded. Anyways, Hey, I hope you guys like this video. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Share this video. Get people to subscribe to my channel. It's really hard to keep subscribers. Um, I know it's hard for me to get more stuff on here all the time. Content because it's so expensive with the hobby now. Everybody's spending like $2,000 a box anymore. It's just, it's nuts. But hey, I appreciate you guys watching. Have a great day. And see you later.